before the construction of the pipelines, the seabed largely consisted of sparsely inhabited sand and limestone substrate. However, the construction materials used to protect and stabilize the pipeline on the seabed have already been colonized by a significant level of marine flora and fauna, just one year after their creation, in effect generating a new marine reef structure. Part of a major project in the, in the state of Qatar, uh, Dolphin must have an environmental impact assessment, an EIA, uh, which we had already and approved by the Supreme Council of the Environment. And from that, we have to develop our own EMP, which is Environmental Management Plan. And uh, we need to come up with uh, any environmental uh, uh, mitigation or offset for any envi negative environmental impact from the EMP. We have two primary objectives with our Eco Reef study. The first objective is as habitat mitigation for our pipeline installation. And the second is as a coral growth study. There's very limited information in Qatar about the growth rates of various species. Our scientists will be studying coral growth rates on four different bottom types. Our Eco Reef modules, our pipeline, which is coated with concrete, armor rock, placed at various locations along our pipeline, and natural seabed. Dolphin has developed a pilot coral growth study in RLC, test site to monitor coral recruitment and growth rates using the latest marine technology. There are many artificial reef products available on the market, and we work closely with scientists of Cattergast to select eco-reefs as our preferred technology for using in our pilot study. This will be the first time eco reefs are used in the Middle East region. Fish are attracted, a great diversity of marine life is typically found around these modules. So we're hopeful that in our study, first time in the Middle East, that we'll be able to demonstrate eco reefs as a viable artificial reef technology. Assembled to form a thicket of complex three-dimensional habitat, the reef beds slowly take shape. Unlike other artificial reefs, the experimental branching coral design of the Eco Reef attempt to replicate the habitat provided by acroporid coral species. One of the main benefits of the Eco Reef module is that it's made from a non-toxic food grade ceramic. This is uh, unglazed, it has a rough surface which allows coral larvae to settle and grow, and it also stabilizes the bottom sediments. Dolphin Energy coordinated their work closely with scientists from Senner, Raslafan City and Katargas. Between them, they selected four different seabed sites to study and compare growth rates of various marine species. Uh, the Supreme Council for the Environment of the State of Qatar is very keen of uh, supporting and encouraging the research in marine science. We have uh, a big number of projects that are going on uh, from including the monitoring for the marine environment, uh, the monitoring of uh, coral reefs, the monitoring of temperature in the marine area of Qatar. Uh, we're also looking for projects related to global warming and uh, other type of uh, uh, marine research projects which are very important to improve uh, the marine environment in Qatar. Similar to many other artificial reef technologies, Eco-reefs aim to create valuable habitat on which coral can establish and grow, ultimately creating new ecosystems to support flora and fauna, previously diminished due to reef degradation. The unique 3D shape provides a much sought-after refuge for many fish species to hide amidst on the otherwise open seabed. The fish that are attracted to the eco-reefs graze on algae, an early settling species, and help make space for corals to establish and grow on the structures. Minimal logistics are required to install the eco-reef, with only a small dive team required and no heavy lifting equipment. For the dolphin portion of the eco-reef project, we had to install 576 of these eco-reefs here. Um, we had an eight-man team to start off with and then moved it down to a four-man team. We would first go to the site, which were predetermined by our scientists. We drill a hole about 10 to 11 inches into the substrate and then um, pound these rods in with a lead weight. 
come back to the site with the eco reefs and uh, deploy them on top of the rod and then slide a nut down these threaded guides here to uh, secure it to the bottom. During the end of the insulation phase, it was possible to see the early settling species, which had already started colonizing the eco reef. As expected, algae was the primary early colonizer. And many other fish and invertebrate species were already found to be attracted to the newly formed reef. Um, each sampling unit consists of 72 modules, four are along uh, the near shore area, four are along the dolphin pipeline. We'll be testing these eco-reef units against uh, natural sites, rock armament sites, and concrete coated pipelines that uh, are put out by Dolphin. We'll be testing them for six months over the next two years. As the reef develops, coral growth records will be maintained every six months to ensure a comprehensive data record of this pioneering coral study in the Gulf. Uh, when we've chosen uh, two sites in Ras Lafan for the eco reef study uh, for the coral grass uh, which was achieved by dolphin, uh, these two sites have been uh, studied very well. Uh, the environment of these studies have been uh, studied also extensively uh, to know that they are suitable for the growth of the coral. Uh, the corals in this area will be monitored if every six months and a report will be submitted to the Supreme Council for the Environment for evaluation and probably uh, we hope that this uh, will be uh, a good area for the cross for corals. Over time, coral and many other species will begin to colonize the modules until a new and vibrant reef community develops. It is hoped that this revolutionary experiment will pave the way for coral rejuvenation and the mitigation of industrial impact throughout the Gulf. <laughs>